my chat. <laughs> Let me. My tripod's being weird. Hold up. Give me a moment. Oh, and um, new sketchbook. Like I had more stuff on the cover, but it kind of like came off. I don't really know. I don't have the story behind it. This is fairly new, actually. I think I got this December tenth. Hi. <gasps> Hi, Sketchy. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to tell you when I'm like doing lives or whatever. I just felt like doing a live today because it's been kind of lazy. Bro, I'm on like eight hours of sleep, but it feels like I have like no sleep. I want to like fall asleep around like one or twelve ish. So, yeah, um, here's my new sketchbook. I actually, I wish this zoomed out more. We're gonna put this slight gore warning, so, like, if you're not okay with, like, splashes of blood and, like, nonsense, then I suggest this might not be the best live for you. But it's, like, in a cute art style. So, I don't know, maybe that'll solve some issues. It's not too aggressive. I won't do that to my live stream, people. Um, let me just open it up. I was not inspired with this sketchbook, like, whatsoever, until I made this specific drawing of this new character I made, and their name is actually Nerku, and, um, he's burning a sketchbook. That, that's shout out for Stormy on pause. <laughs> I sound like you. I am you. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what to say. Thank you, I guess. Thank, wow. Well, how do you pronounce, uh, you pronounce my name as Roybus, so you can say like Roybus. Yeah. That's a great question. Um, the sketchbook is way too big, guys. Look, I can't even show you this page. Oh, <laughs> forgot I could do that. I'm not the smartest. Let me turn my light on. It's raining outside, so like, it's very, oh, I hate this lighting. Never mind, chat. I'll just move my tripod down. The tripod is literally stupid. The guys, chat. All right, so here's Ner er. All right, so <laughs> here's Nerku and their friend. I like their friends, and their name is Tuio, and they're like, I wanted to make a Christmas character. So they're like a scrawny Krampus, right? Um, so they're silly, I love them. They're so sweet looking, I guess. I actually really enjoy these drawings at the bottom of the page to Wheel with like a frying pan and look how he holds it. He holds it with two hands. That's kind of silly. He does not know how to use a frying pan. And then here's Nirku and Bro's eating a block of cheese because he's lovely. He's lovely like that. Um, whew. Nirku does not have a tail. I really, really like this drawing and that drawing. Oh my gosh, guys. It's getting... The sketchbook is so big. It's not even that big. It's like something... I think it's like... Let me think. Maybe 5x9 or something. Wait, not 5x9. I messed up. It's like 9x11 maybe. Inches, by the way. Um, I like this drawing right here of Nerku hugging Tuio, but like also eating them at the same time. Um, oh, you're gonna make fan art? Thank you. Hi. Um, so I'm not drawing anything yet. I'm just showing you guys some like pages of my sketchbook. Um, mostly practice and reference photos. So, like, great reference photos would be like of dogs. So, you can like test out their posture if that's what you want to draw. Like, I often use like dog or weasel references, which is why my characters end up having these weasel backs i really like this drawing right right down here it's actually the the thumbnail of this live stream i drew it like i think yesterday um and yeah and here's what i painted yesterday before i went to my friend's house um and yes i did spell paint wrong because i was watching someone uh, my favorite artist casey golden on youtube um surprise she's not a furry artist that's weird I mean, she's my favorite, like, streaming artist. Uh, I don't know my favorite artist yet. I like Kerbeen and a couple other, but, like, for now. Um, you see, like, I don't know. There's, like, 
bread on the tooth, so I was like, you know, it's gonna be blood, but it's like not very obvious. Um, I like that drawing. I don't really like this page too much. I feel like the lines are too thick. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Um, here we go. Here's a something I did with gouache paints yesterday. It's like a little garden-ish scene, but I was too lazy to color the characters, so it didn't turn out too well. Um, I don't know. This is a weird doodle. I really like the little splotch of like blood or tomato. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna say it's blood. And when I use gouache on this, this this sketchbook is not built. Let me just say it now. It is not built for like paints. So I kind of like ruin the pages every time I use paint. I really like this drawing down here. I did the pose without a reference. The paw is a bit messed up, so let's not look at that. Um, but I really like the reference. Or er, there's no reference. I really like the drawing. Hi, silly Billy. I can't exactly show how to draw ahead of the characters because I kind of make them all up and it's different every time I make a character's head. But I can like, I can attempt. Let me, this sketchbook is so annoying. Sorry, I didn't mean that sketchbook. I love you. Here's like a quick thing on how I draw um, a furry head. I guess. <laughs> so I'm just gonna draw Roy. I start out with the circle, even though sometimes half of the time I don't use it. It's just a weird habit. Um, I like to add like fluff here. Then about like bottom of the circle-ish. I don't actually map this stuff out. I kind of just freehand it. Um, and then I kind of go around to there. So you're gonna wanna like make it more circular around down here then probably around like right at this line you're gonna make an eye i'm gonna just the i think the ears really do change but if they were pointing up ears and the ears were like you know like pointing up like a, a standard canine you would kind of just do that guys i cannot do tutorials can you guys hear me Chat, can you hear me? Sorry, I'm mumbling. Um. Uh, Alright. This is eh. Basically, I'm sorry, I don't know how to teach stuff. I am, like, worst teacher ever. Just joking. Well, actually, I might not be joking. Like, seriously, I might be the worst teacher ever. <laughs> um. Oh, and look, look at this I made of my character. I also made these chameleons. I like these chameleons. This is my character, and their name is... I forgot. Help. I usually don't forget. I haven't drawn them in a while, so it, it's kind of need... I need a refreshing of what this character's name is. Let me... They're a street dog. <laughs> um, They're themed off of apples, which is where their ear comes from. Uh, help. Help, what's a, what's their name? I don't know. Chat, I give up. <laughs> oh. This sketchbook is so weird when I like try to do anything with it. Like, it gets all weird and like frisky. Oh my gosh, that's so preppy, that's so preppy, for real. So when I try and turn this sketchbook like this, it, it's like too thick, I think. I hate pages, or I hate sketchbooks with so many pages. <gasps> it might be the paper clip I have wedged over here. How do I get this out? <laughs> um, funny story, I, I like paper clips. I don't know, I just find them so cool. How did I do this? Roybus, what in the world? Um, I really like paper clips. So if I ever like have a paper clip, then I'm gonna be like, I love this paper clip. They're so cool for like no reason. I feel like a crow, because I like paper clips. I like shiny things. Oh guys, guys, I'm almost freeing my paper clip from my sketchbook. 
Ha ha! It's so preppy in here. Hi. I do play Roblox. I'm not giving away my user because I don't like when everyone asks, Can I friend you? Can I friend you? Warning, you guys. You you have been you've been warned. I need to think of a nice like pose for my character. Where should I put this chat? Oh, gee, it's a furry. <laughs> womp, womp. All right. Um. Hi guys. I'm a furry. I guess. Furry. Furry. Did you see my art? I want to show you my art now. Do you like furries, or I'm guessing you don't. So like. Let me just get out some of the colored art. Look, cat, look. This is the drawing your personas from memory. Here's some of my art chat. There. I feel so preppy in here. So preppy in here. All right, I definitely want to draw. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> some people here didn't know that. Um, I feel like they were maybe just scrolling in live streams because if they somehow like were subscribed and didn't know as a furry it'd be really weird oh sketchy you're still here <laughs> oh, guys i don't know what to draw wait no i know what to draw i want to draw something i had an idea chat i had an idea it's somewhere in my head all right i'm just gonna doodle until i regain that idea from my memory I just really like drawing with, like, paints, especially watercolors. I like, um, blood. It's so, like, perfect. Ew. Um, mm. Should I color stuff? I don't know. So, here we are drawing my character in... I can't remember. Guys, my brain is, like, so blank right now. <laughs> this is my character, and their name is Tawio. That's their name. Oh, yeah, and by the way, all my characters have gibberish names, except Roybus, which sounds like gibberish, but it's actually just, um... It's actually... The, 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 the name Roybus is actually... I'm gonna put this until I start painting is actually a type of South African tea. Lots of people don't know that. They're like, oh, that's that's awesome. Or this eraser is from South Africa, by the way, chat. I have like my South African art supplies. These markers are specifically from South Africa. So you can't get them here in Morocco, can you? No, they're made in China though. That's all right, everyone here is still. I love tea, guys. Do you like, do you guys like tea, or is it just me? I feel like herbal tea might be one of my favorites, or like just subtle teas. I don't really like super sweet teas. I mean, I like them, but like, they're they're more of a daytime type situation. They're weird if you drink them at nighttime to me. I don't know. It's like so sweet and I'm like, what is this? Dessert? Citrus tea. Mm. Yeah, teas are fun. Wait, blueberry tea exists? I had no idea. Whoa. Does it, what does it taste like? Is it like sweet or is it like bitter? I feel like it'd be bitter for like no reason. Arg, bitter tea. Palmer tea. I've always wanted to try that, actually. Like, I think another tea I've always wanted to try is... Like, what's it called? Mmm! I forgot the mmm! It's... It's the tea, like... That... It's like the traditional, like, British tea. That they drink in the mornings. I would like to try it. Oh, He looks so fun. He looks so sweet. So innocent. Um, chat. My brain is like pulling this weird blank. Ever since I ate lunch, like my brain just decided to stop operating. I want him to have some cheese. 
We're giving him cheese. Cheeseburger. I don't know. These characters just really like cheese, and it's so weird and random, and I really enjoy that aspect of their lives. Because it's the tiny things, chat. It's the tiny things. Um, the little things in these characters' lives before I, like, literally throw away their future and torture them. Not torture them. It's, um, their life, not mine. Well, I'm not torturing them. It's just how their life goes. I, I can change it if I want, but, like, I don't want to. My brain is not braining, I think. Yeah, that, that, definitely. That's, ugh, my brain is 100%. Cheese with that, or just cheese? Um, probably just cheese, actually. Alright, that looks like just cheese. Oh man, I need to put his paws holding it. Um, how is he gonna be holding any cheese? How do you hold cheese? Do you like this, or do you like grab it, kind of? I feel like, depending on... Hmm, I want to have a red background for this piece, actually. That sounds like fun. Doesn't that sound amazing? Um, so maybe the cheese will be like a pop of color, actually. I'm gonna add the, another piece of cheese here. It looks like cake, chat. I will make it look like cheese in the ends, don't worry though. Roy's gotcha. Making it look like cheese. Thank you for 24 likes on my video. How have I been, like, rambling for 16 minutes? What in the world? I talk too much, chat. I need to stop saying chat. It's funny to me, so that, that's why I say it. And then when I actually have a live stream, it's hilarious because I can say chat, like, as its actual meaning. And then I'm like, haha, chat. Did you know the original Robus design had a lot of stars in it? I don't know where those stars were, I just remember something, like, I randomly, like, stars. Hmm. That would have been cool if he still had stars, though. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna, mm, mm, mm. I have an ad, so, like, yes, I'm tired of this ad. For my uh, background jazz. Frosted flakes, ooh, very nice. You guys like cheese? <laughs> um, also, do you guys like to draw? And if you do, what do you like to draw? Like, what type of art are you into? Like abstract realism? Cartoon? Is furry art its own genre? Possibly. Why does his arm go up so far? I need to fix that. Guys, this is what happens when I have, like, no reference of, like, a person I don't know I usually don't use references actually and it's kind of weird I feel like I really should use references because then my art will literally be like wow Roy you know how to work you know how to like er like a perfect drawing not perfect haha uh -huh. Robus's breed you gotta prepare yourself for this chat. She's um, an albino coyote gray fox. That's wild. With floppy ear. <laughs> um, so I just basically call her a dog because you get to a point where your son is so like wild and out there that no one can guess what it is. And that's like, they're com they're 100% real for that because Honestly, I would not be able to guess that. Um, so then you just call her a dog. And then I'll go into specifics if they ask, like, what breed is, what breed is she? I'll be like, oh, hold your horses, guys. I just forgot, I'm not the biggest fan of his color scheme. That might be a problem, actually. Hi, hi, everyone. I can't wave upside down, it's so weird. I have to wave like this, not like this. You, you guys won't know what I mean until you try waving like that. It's really weird. Um, Alright, digital art. So, I like digital art, but I'm not very, like, I can do way better traditional art than digital art, for sure. Hi! Are most of you traditional or digital artists? I feel like 
I have this weird hunch that most of you are like digital artists for some reason. I feel like it'd be really cool if I just had like a scanner so I could scan my traditional art in, into digital. I'm not very good at I can't sketch in digital art. That's so like weird to me. I can't do that. It's just so unnatural. And you know those like weird things you can buy so where you can draw on like this weird tablet and then it'll be projected onto the thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know how you were even, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not ignoring you. Yeah, draw on paper, yeah. Oh, all right. But it just seems so like unnatural, I don't know. I'm kind of losing my sense of what am I talking about right now. I hate these legs, by the way, I'm fixing them. Go away. You'd think a 2H is easier to erase, but no. One of the lightest pencils isn't. Imagine using like an HB2. That would take centuries to erase. Do you guys have like a pencil preference for like how dark your pencil is? Or I like to use a 2H which is pretty like light actually, which is why this is so light. Like compared to if I get a normal pencil and I make a stroke, a normal pencil is a HB2 or a four. I can't remember. I think it might be a four or a two. It's one of those. Oh, you love me. Thank you. No. I love when people comment no, it's so funny. What is this pose? I wish my brain prior to lunch remembers what I wanted to draw so badly. What did I want to draw so badly? Guys, the proportions look so off and I want to cry. I can't tell what it is though. Maybe the head's too big. Chat, I give up. Yippee. My voice cracked so much. Hold up. All right, let me get my amazing swatch paper oh thank you i've been a furry for like i don't really count um i mean like when i first started calling myself a furry maybe like last year ish or the year before last year ish because it was more like I would watch furry stuff when I was like 11 and have no idea what a furry is. And I was like, oh, this is funny. What is this? And, and I had no idea. <laughs> I watched um, that albino thing on YouTube. And it took me a while to find their channel again because I was like, oh, this is the person who made me a furry, basically. So I wanted to like find them again. Be like, where are you at? All right, so here's the red we have right now. And we're gonna get the sign out, yay! The sign's out now. You've all been warned. Is that good, chat? I'm not gonna draw a strawberry because like, that's not really with any of the prompt I'm doing. I'm not doing a prompt. I meant like, it's not the theme. Maybe that's what I meant. Traditional is pretty fun, but it might have a limited mistake because of the erasing. Oh yeah, the erasing is so annoying. This is so like strawberry red. I need like blood red. Let me just cutely mix red and make blood. Yay. All right, this is dried blood. No, that's way too dark to be dried blood. Oh, you're losing signal? Wait, guys, chat, are you also losing signal? Or is it like my part or Sketchy's? Sketchy, is it your part or my part? How are you? <laughs> um, hmm, my amazing paint palette in the corner is not having it right now. Gory, womp womp. Ooh, you made Therian masks, that's cool. No, 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 no. You guys are. Um, chat, if you don't like this type of stuff, you don't have to watch chat. Chat. 
Why are you saying no, chat? Oh, it's yours? Alright. Oh, I'm so stupid, chat. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny. It's funny when I say chat. That's why I say it. So, anyone have midterms? <laughs> I actually finished all my midterms last week, but I still have like a week left to school except Friday. So that's kind of weird, honestly. Um, what do you guys want for Christmas? I'm gonna make a video probably like a Q&A, like what do you want for Christmas? Blood, blood. 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 Blood tastes like pennies. I think it's because blood is mostly made of like metals. Don't quote me on this stuff, guys. I was not paying attention in science when they were talking about blood, which is ironic because here I am panting it. So, panting it? What in the world? This brush sucks. I hate this brush. Mmm! I just drew on my paper that goes under this paper. I'm so dumb. Um. Where are my scissors? I can't find my scissors, chat. The only scissors I could find are my scissors from like elementary school. These are like historic. Goodness gracious. Ooh, a fursuit partial. Ooh, a dino mask. A bean dog. Guys, I can't cut with kitty scissors. Oh, I guess I can't. Look how small these things are. How did I fit my whole fa my whole hand in? I give up on English chat. It's overrated anyway. I don't need to speak. I can just be quiet, I guess. Oh my gosh. This is gonna eat up my paper. I regret this. Hey, anyone else ever like think this is a good idea? And then like immediately, of course I get an ad. Can't skip it, stupid. Oh, it kept playing. So like for my background music, I like to like find those lives on YouTube where they're just um, cafe music. I like to play those. It's so weird. Do you guys get ads when you're watching my live? Because I get ads when I'm watching other people's lives. And it's really annoying because I just want to like... I remember when I could watch like a bunch of YouTube videos in a row and only get like one ad. I'm sorry, I'm just in the moment. That's why I have shut myself up. Be quiet, Roy. Be serious. Huh. Nope. You don't get ads? Oh, you're a premium. I get like every maybe 10 minutes I get an ad for lives. It's weird. Not all lives, just like some. Maybe it's like based off if the person is monetized or not. I have no idea. All right. I wanna be done, chat. I don't wanna do this anymore. I mean, not done with the drawing, just done with this like one part because it's so annoying. Oh yeah, so I baked a cake yesterday, um, and my friend baked a cake first, and we baked my cake because we were like, hey, let's make another, even though the last one failed. So if you want to watch my friend make a, like, kind of just goof off, um, go to my community posts, I guess. We failed a little. That's fine, chat. It tasted like eggs. Um, yeah, and it's my friend's first YouTube channel, so I, I, I suggest you check it out. And we'll be making, like, short films and stuff on there. Because I like to film stuff. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys can make whatever content you want, and you would get loads of views on it, what content would you make? Because honestly, I, I like making first videos, but I would like to do a lot more art videos. I just don't because they don't do very well. And, like, I hate editing them. 
because I take forever to edit them and then they get like no views and then I'm like, oh, I give up. Yippee. You know? I'm scared someone's gonna flip through my sketchbook. One time I was like drawing in class and then I think it was like history or something stupid. And this one kid just came up to me and like picked up my sketchbook and like looked through the pages and without my permission too. So I was like, what in the world? And they were like, oh, this is nice. And I was like, oh, um, thank you. And then they asked, um, can, can you show me how to draw this? And it was like on a character who's like a little egg. Not an egg. Sorry, I messed up. Um, why am I saying egg? Oh, I was talking about the, the cake that tasted like eggs. Um, <sighs> I was... I can't speak very well. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about... Or it was a flower dude with little googly eyes on him and like some feet because there were like little paws and he was silly and I like him. Um, and then I had to show her and then she just kept like asking me how to draw more stuff. And then she wanted to draw in my sketchbook. And guys, if if you don't have a sketchbook or like no artist etiquette, never ask someone to draw in their sketchbook because I feel like forced to say yes. But in my experience, I think it depends on who you're talking to. I don't like when people draw in my sketchbook because like unless I ask you, if the, the person asks you to draw on it, then that's different. That's because they really like your art. Um, or they're, they're just, like, open to get more art styles in their book. But I don't know. I don't really like it because I, 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 like, I like sketchbooks as, like, something that documents my art that I can look back on. And usually when people ask me, I'm like, uh... I, I say, yeah. I say, do it in the back pages. And then I rip out the back pages. Um, and use them for like swatches and whatever But it feels I feel so bad doing it. I mean like But I also don't want them to be drawing in there So I need a better solution like I need to just be able to say no, but I'm way too shy to do that Because I know it'll probably go like downhill and they'll be like, um, why not? Why can't I do it? Why can't I? People are very annoying sometimes So if you do ask and they say no then don't ask them any more about it. It's They just don't want it. It doesn't mean they don't like appreciate you or your art. It just means they don't want like other people's art in there. Hmm. So yeah, there's a lesson for your, your day. Ooh, you're getting a partial. Um, what's your partial, like who's making it? Furries over 10 should die. Wait, there's furries under 10? Also, that's not very nice, chat. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's so random. Um. I guess, it's, I guess there's, like, no age limit on, like, how old you have to be to be a furry, but there's, like, some aspects that I think are just for the, like, older people. In general, like, furries are pretty young. Like, when I think of, like, furries, I usually think about ages, like, let me think, like, 12 to 28 from, or to 30. Because it's a generally, like, newer thing, and I don't think, like, people older than that are, like, too interested in it. They might be like, oh, that's a, that's for the new new kids of the generations um here we go guys look i did something yeah i don't want to die either uh, oh you're 11 12 to 30 yeah that's what i'm thinking oh wow a lot of you are 11 i feel so old i feel so old I'm, I'll probably do an age reveal, like, maybe sometime next year. I feel like doing one, maybe in, like, February. But I want it to be for, like, a certain amount of subscribers. So I can be like, 
30k subscribers and I'll reveal my age or something. So then people are like, oh my gosh, I should subscribe. Oh wow, you've been one for six years? That's really cool. Um, I've probably only been one for like three or two. I need to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless you, myself. I don't want to color the character, chat. I hate coloring the character. Um, I'm gonna color the cheese now. You know what? We're getting a Pinterest reference. 30 trillion. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, let me look up wheel of cheese, but with one finger, because my other one is covered in red paint. Wheel of cheese. Thank you, Pinterest. No, not that type of cheese. That's an emoji. Why are these all cartoony? Hey, that looks brilliant. Guys, look at my beautiful blister of a swatch card. You have 12 bucks in your bank account? You're so real! I think I have like, maybe like a hundred. But I spent like half of it at the Renaissance Fair, but we don't talk about that. Overpriced tails get me every single time. I'm just like, you know what, I want that tail. And then I buy it, and then all my money like disappears, so. Hmm. It's kind of a problem. Never go to Renaissance Fair if you want to keep on a budget because for one, where I live, um, prices are pretty high for the Renaissance Fair for a ticket. So like, that might also drain your bank account to zero. And everything in a fair is like so pricey. Oh, thank you. Their name is Tawio. Stop giving me Tinder ads, YouTube. I'm not even 18, I can't use it. They know I'm single. They're coming at me for it. He thought he was holding a pad? No! How did you even think that? It's like a, a circle. Alright, um... Yellow. Oh, that is not the right shade of yellow. Oh, did you think he was holding a pad? Because it's a gore warning? That would make sense. Um, YouTube, don't ban me. YouTube, don't ban me for drawing gory art, please. YouTube. YouTube, spare me. Like, imagine I get permanently banned after this. If one of you report this, I'm gonna be very sad, I guess. I have a life. I have a life too, chat. The cheese and the cheese. Yeah, it's not- I haven't even added gore yet. I'm just putting it there for later advice. So I guess I'll tell you when I start adding gore. It's not even bad, chat. It's like, not even bad at all, really. It's just some like splashes of blood that make you go, oh no. But it's not like severe or anything. Um, so, like, you can sit through Hunger Games, Jurassic Park, whatever, you'll be fine. <gasps> Anyone here like Hunger Games? It's like my favorite book series. It's the only book series I've liked, really. I'm very picky with books, actually, like, super picky with, like, my music taste and what, like, books. Um, but I really, really like Hunger Games. Have you guys seen the new movie? Oh, yeah, my favorite murder weapon is definitely cheese. Or, like, a really sharp knife. Not any knife, not like a dagger. Like, um, what's it called? Like, uh, a chef knife. One that you cut like apples with. 
That's so specific. You know, I draw knives in my sketchbook when I'm mad. Does anyone have like something they draw when they're mad? For me, it's my, it's my knives. I like knives. <laughs> I sound so like psychopath. So excited, I don't have to do any midterms anymore. Life is a dream now. I just have to wait. Life is like a treat right now. Life could be a dream. Butter knife. Oh yeah, then art is nice sometimes. I kind of stopped drawing it. I think last year was like literally the worst year of my life. Um, I wasn't doing very well last year. I was lonely and sad. Um, so I made a YouTube channel because that's what we all do when we're lonely and sad. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah, but I, I'm much better this year. Mentally. But last year I had a kind of a rough, or not last year, like this, the last summer we just had, I kind of had a rough summer. I mean, like, my aunt and grandmother passed away. That's really sad for me. Mm. All right, let's change the topic. I'm changing the topic for myself. Um, knives. What was I talking about prior? Well, give my art chat, I guess. So like, <laughs> tell me it looks like cheese, please. Unless it doesn't. I mean, like, if it does look like cheese to you, then tell me that. And if it doesn't, tell me how to make it look like cheese. And I don't want stupid cheese with holes in it. I hate drawing cheese with holes in it. It's so like random to me, but I hate drawing that. I like when it's like solid cheese. Silly is like one of my favorite words. Oh, your persona's arm looks like a, a noodle. That's really funny. I like that. Noodle. Where has been one of the really cool places in your life you've been? Um, one of mine is in New Mexico and it's called Meow Wolf. It was like really cool. I can't explain it. Just like look it up and it's like this room with like rooms in it and it's so trippy and weird and I like it there. Ah, I just swiped and like a piece of paint went Wah. Yeah. Guys, look at this. <laughs> this looks so like psychopath it looks like a pizza i want pizza here's the crust pizza Ooh, you eat water and drink pizza i don't think i've ever drinking pizza before it doesn't sound very good or fun to drink a pizza, but I guess you do you, man. Alright, let me... Pizza smoothie. How much would someone have to pay you to drink a pizza smoothie? Honestly, I'd be chill with like a hundred dollars, I guess. But if they were rich, I'd be like five thousand dollars and then if they were rich they might be like sure then because if they really want me to do it i'll do it i'm adding gore not gore just like blood um so if you guys don't like blood then now's the time to go bye bye i like doing it with the teeth that's so like funny oh i also really like drawing gums it's this weird I hate that. I accidentally made a line and I was like, let me get rid of the line. Then it didn't get rid of it. So um, now I have to 
paint marker over it. Is it dry? I'll let it dry more, actually. Never mind. I'm so focused, chat. Oh, wow. If anyone, like, looks through the sketchbook, I'm gonna be very scared. For their and my well-being. That'd be kind of cool if there was, like... I want this character to have some interesting lore. You guys ever feel like that? Where you're like, this character deserves some nice, delicious lore. There. Thank you, man. All right, where is the stupid colors? I'm frustrated. I just call everything stupid. It's kind of funny. Sorry, I'm not looking at the the chat right now. It's because I'm a little bit too focused. Precise. Maybe one of the reasons I'm like this is because I got to witness a bunch of gory stuff, and I was like. Not in, like, a movie or anything, but, like, in real life, you know? So it's even better. Yay! One of them was, um, a mole being ripped apart. And its blood started splattering on my shoes and whatever. Um, I watched its intestines fling everywhere. And that was nice. Guys, I'm being sarcastic. It was not nice. It kind of scarred me. Maybe that's the way I'm like this. That, maybe that's why I'm like this. <laughs> you know? Hey, it stopped raining. Chat, look. It stopped raining, but now it's like kind of stormy out here. Oh, but that's awesome. Well, not awesome. I, I hate when it doesn't rain. Well, not hate. I just like rain. Yeah, we probably should get a therapist. Carpenter. Nice. Nice. Alright guys, we're gonna do a blood smudge and hope I don't fail very dismally. Oh. Guys, I might have failed. <laughs> it's fine, chat. I can fix it. I need to talk. Like, I forget I'm on a live. And I'm like, sitting in silence. Saying absolutely nothing. Uh oh. Wait, what happens, chat? Oh no, I just realized I went overboard. No! This is supposed to be like. kind of subtle. Hmm. Alright, so I put too much. Or a little bit too much. I always do this. This always, literally always, this happens. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what to do.
There's just gonna be that now. Zania. Oh, that that's a really cool. That's that's a cool um name, but they already have a name, and their name does not really fit this drawing at all. Their name is Tuio. <laughs> was I like, what in the world, Roy? That is so like cutesy. Trying to fix up this to make it not as super there. He's not dead. Not yet. Sometimes I just want to plan out my characters' lives. I'm not planning on his life. I might plan out his death, but not his life. His life just happens. And when it happens, it happens. So, like, yeah. Yeah, chat. Um, I'm so, so brainy. I'm so, like, constructively thinking. How did I spend 50 minutes on this? Um, why did I choose cheese? Because, um, Tawio and their friend Nerku like to cook. They like to make foods. So I think it would be kind of fitting if um, they had one of the foods they like in a rough situation moment. Yeah. I also like the color scheme that's going on here. So I'm going to probably not color to Wio. my only not red finger I like to smudge with my finger look at this womp <laughs> look it oh goodbye sketchy um I'm probably not gonna do a look it because I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't really like like hosting them Kinda, I just have to sit there and like show the screen and just wait and like watch as everyone battles for society. They made Kahoot weird. They tried to make Kahoot like Blook It and it got weird with the weird like characters that you can have now. I don't like those characters. It was a good idea, maybe at the time but they it was just poorly executed i guess because the characters looked absolutely terrifying i'm just gonna make this like pink i think that'd be cute if it was pink oh pink i like that actually I got a calligraphy pen, and I haven't really used it. I literally just got it yesterday. My friend gave it to me as a Christmas gift. Um, I haven't really used it yet, so I need to get better at that. Thank you for 33 likes on this video. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! My Derwent pencils just went flying. Wow, guys. I have not been doing sewing for like since yesterday. And it is almost four o'clock in Florida. So I can't believe I even went that long without doing sewing. Because every day after I got home from school, I would like sew. 
and I would sew so much because I'd be like, oh my gosh, I gotta like, gotta, gotta work, gotta work, gotta finish her up. But, um, but yeah. Don't forget to smile. Alright, let's do some touch-ups. I got orange on my desk. No. I'll wash that off later. I really want to do a garden illustration. I can't keep doing gouache on like all of my pages though because it'll literally obliterate my pages and they'll never see tomorrow. They'll just, they'll be covered in color. Oh, I didn't even put your fur pattern on? How cool of me. They have like a squiggle down their back. The, the, the squiggle, but on their back. That sound was my pencil hitting my jar of water. Oh, you're in Florida, hi. Someone has a book it, so go check it out. Um. Hmm, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna color the nose now, because, yeah. I need to concentrate, so that's why I kind of am quiet. I keep doing that. I love watching like people draw in the background while I'm drawing. It's so much fun. Or just like sketchbook tours. I've always wanted to do a sketchbook tour on this channel, but it doesn't fit the channel demographic. So it's sad. I'm assuming you guys are just here for like fursuit stuff. Because that's like what I post, so. Makes sense, Roy Ross. Makes sense. I'm feeling a little bit sick. Uh, not from the drawing, just in like a little bit congested. Maybe you can hear it in my voice, I don't know. I can never feel sick from my drawing, so I don't know what you're talking about. Look, there's like barely any gore on here. I'm proud of myself. If I could pull up my gore drawings from last year, I'd get banned very quickly. My last year gore drawings were really something, I'll say. Um, I didn't have a good year last year. It's lovely that the music helps you calm down while well, my art is probably the opposite. Oh, guys, what's your favorite band? My favorite band is Caravan Palace. I've been listening to them for like six years. And if you guys know Caravan Palace, I would be very honored, even though I'm not a part of Caravan Palace or like anything. I would just be honored that someone else like knows Caravan Palace. Yeah. And if you do know Caravan Palace, Oh, you do know Caravan! What's your favorite song from Caravan Palace? Anyone who knows Caravan Palace. The erasing marks down here are annoying me. I like the song Panic, Miracle, Plume, Moonshine. Let me think. Hmm. Comics. Hi. I'm using gouache paints like watercolor. If you guys don't know what gouache is, it's kind of this weird, um, I guess you should look it up probably, but it's like this weird, I can't explain it. Alright, I'll just show it to you guys then. 
um, pretend this isn't like the most crusty thing you've ever seen, but I can like, <laughs> it's, look, it moves around, I can make, it's, it's kind of like a jelly texture-ish, um, I can use it like acrylic by like scooping some up, or I can use it for like, what's it called, watercolor? by watering it down, which is what I'm doing over here on this palette. Oh, have you guys heard Caravan Palace's newest song? I actually really like it. I forgot to list it on the list because it's like not even a month old, but it's Reverse by Caravan Palace and it's so good. And I'm so glad Caravan Palace started posting again because they were like quiet for like a year and they didn't make a song since an album or slash song since 2019. So I was kind of just left to sit there in silence and listen to their songs over and over so i know all the words reverse is so good mad uh, i do know lemon demon i like don't stop don't call me basic but i like um fine and modify by them modify um reverse is really good i didn't like like, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like Mad. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, oh, this is, this is really nice, I guess. Thanks for posting, but it's not that good. I don't know. It just, I feel like they spent more time on the animation than the actual song. But Reverse totally made it up for me. It, it's kind of like Russian. Um, it goes... I do like Kiro Kiro. Bonito. Bonito. I sound so white. <laughs> Help. Oh, look at my fingers. Why do I, does my hand look so pink in this light? Hi. You guys should totally listen to Reverse by Caravan Palace. It's like amazing. It's a banger. It's one of their longer songs too. I think their longest song might be like Stupid Melancholia or something. I hated that song. It's so basic for them, man. Caravan Palace, you can do way better. I, I have a couple of their CDs and vinyls, actually. I actually haven't gotten out my record player in a very long time, but I have a bunch of, like, old swing from the 40s on my record player um, that I bought at a thrift shop. Um, I, I listened to it a lot in, like, 2020 during, like, COVID and everything because I had more time to myself to, you know, just kind of chill and do whatever I wanted. Um, and explore things that aren't out of the house. But there's not many things to do out of the house, actually. Fursuiting is really fun to do. Oh, I, oh, my top three favorite, Caravan Palace, Limbo, and Jack Stober. I do like Jack Stober. I like Lice by Jack Stober and Two Time and a bunch of others, but those, I'm just gonna say those. Oh, you listen to, to Reverse? Yeah, Reverse is so good. If you guys are, like, open to, like, listening to music right now, then Reverse by Caravan Palace. Um, what was I yapping about? I've been talking for so long, my throat is starting to give out. It's like, no, Roy, we can't do this anymore. We can't. I give up. Oh, look. When I look up, I see my um, Caravan Palace Chronologic and the drawing Valerie made me. And I also see plants because, I don't know, and bugs, but, um, yeah. I should do a room tour. Like, as a short, not as like this. I made this, I made this, by the way. I took the video, I printed it out. I had to get each frame per second. This is a bleeding heart dove. It is one of my favorite types of birds. Oh, I really like birds. That's a fun fact. Um, Rivas really likes birds. Oh, your phone died. Oh, you're on your laptop. Oh, thank you for subscribing. You just hit 10K. Congrats. Congrats. I love the beetle in your name, by the way. That's really cute. Hold up. I really like that beetle. Um, Rocket for me and Brother Swing is so good. For real. I love Rocket for me. Alright, so I think I'm done.
I'm gonna decorate more around the page later, but for now, this is the art piece I'm making you all stare at. Um, I guess I'll feature some parts I really like about it. I love the cheese. Wait, let me just, I'm gonna add a quick highlight to the cheese. Ah. All right, great. I love the cheese. I love the little bite mark, the the mouth, um, the nose, the eye. Uh, the legs are right. okay, I guess. And the little stars. And the color palette. I think that's nice. Oh, thank you. Also, are you a Therian? I don't know. Like, lots of Therians have that little swirly mark in their, their name. Boom. Therians are so cool. Um. Oh, the beetles! The beetles! Those beetles are... Urgh, those beetles are so cool. I want a beetle in my name. What in the world? Um. Garden. I need some garden reference photos of garden. Garden. Huh. Chat. Gardens are so pretty. I forgot how pretty gardens are. Pinterest is so superior. Like, you can get the best reference photos on them. Ah, I knew it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Just joking, chat. I'm not a very genius. I'm kind of stupid. All right, um... I can't find a reference photo that's inspiring me for a garden. Maybe I have to look up aesthetic garden. Hmm, that's nice. Um, I, I like like vegetable gardens, I guess. Those look so fun for like no reason. Just like, oh wow. A star in your name? Um. I got a star off of, like, I have an app that has some symbols on it, and it's off of that app. You can just look up, like, symbol app um, on the app store or whatever. Whatever thing on your phone has, like, you can get apps off of. I don't really know what it's called in other phones. Guys, I can't find any aesthetic photos of gardens. This is upsetting me. Vegetable garden. Aesthetic. These aren't, I'm not having it, man. These are strawberries. Guys, strawberries are not vegetables. Or are they? Why are you growing them next to zucchini? It's kind of random. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, strawberry, tomato, that's cute. They should totally have a garden. They should have like dogs or something. They should have pets. It's kind of weird if I gave like an anthropomorphic animal a pet because they're literally an animal just on two legs. Hmm. Is that weird, chat? Giving an animal a, a pet? I think it's a bit weird, actually. Alright, I think I'm actually done. Like, for the day. I'm... Oh, this isn't um, a fursona. This is a character. But I'm not coloring them because their color scheme is a bit different from this art. And I actually... I think I might prefer it black and white. Or black and gray. So it looks... You know, um, I don't know. So it looks more aesthetically pleasing for my liking. Um, thank you for watching my live stream. You guys are so silly. Um, and thank you for 44 likes and 69 minute, 69 minute. I'm gonna.